what have you done? This is a sin that cannot be reclaimed. You have moved here, sadly. Oh, wait, actually, that's a good settle spot. Settle there next turn. So you move your warrior, too. X, hold on. X is the do the next thing. So, like, if you look at the bottom right side of the screen, you'll see the little thing there. What? Then move it. <laughs> Mid-right screen should be good. Either mid-right or top-middle, because nothing ever really happens in top-middle. Yeah, top-middle's fine. Wow. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna do what I need. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just X. If it's an explanation mark, it's just gonna tell you what you need to do next. And then, uh, if you want, you can actually turn on the tutorial in the settings, but I'll try to explain best as I can for you. Uh, or you can just go over to, like, a unit you have, press A on it, and I'll tell you, like, what you can do so you can move it. Okay, yeah, so if you just move your, like, left analog up, down, left, right, whatever, you can move it places, and you click A. Well, you can't go in the water yet because technology and bullshit. Um, sure do. You sure do. <laughs> uh, but you can just move it around, like, in all land, basically. So you, like, just move right. If you have it selected, move right one, and then press A. Oh, yeah, look. Bam. Yeah, yeah, uh... It shouldn't be like that all the time, but for now it is. Um, or actually, it's probably... Yeah, okay. Alright, first turn. Look at that. So I'm just gonna... Don't worry about it, man. You, you're doing good. <laughs> now I need to do everything I need to do. I mean, the thing is, though, is, like, if it wouldn't have been that hill and next to a river, already bad. <laughs> Hold on, I'll explain it to you. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. Hold on here. Shit is, uh, there. End of my turn. Um, so the hill, if you settle on a plains hill, it's better than... You didn't move again, did you? Okay. So, the settle button. So, do you see the little, like, you go over to the symbol that's, like, um, like a building or something like that, and then you press that? Yeah, yeah, found city. Do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, because we're on a plains hill, uh, the reason that's so much better than, like, almost every other fucking spot in the game... Yeah. Uh, the plane hill, since you settle on it, will give you two production on two food instead of two food and one production, so you already are starting off better. Yeah, so, um, I forgot that you start with yields on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the river will give you, like, plus two housing, I think. So you also settle next to the river, which is good, and you're next to the coast, which gives you a boost to technology for sailing. So you've already done, like, three good things. Yeah, so if you click on your city... Um, because you're gonna have to build shit and, like, select technology. Tell me what you have to do next, because if you press the explanation mark, I'll tell you what you need to do next. Okay. So, you can either activate the queue or not, um, which is, like, right under the... Oh, let me go over to mine so I actually can tell you exactly. Yeah, so the queue, you can activate that to just add shit. Monument is a good bet to build first, or a builder. Builder, a monument, maybe even a warrior. Uh, okay, so just do monument first, I got you. Monument's like an easy first thing to build. Yep, okay, so what's next? Okay, so let's see what you have around you. You have cow, tobacco. Uh, a hill, so, okay, hold on. Animal, okay, hold on, yeah. So either animal husbandry right now. Yeah, well, no, it's because you're on the coat, goddamn, I select the technology and I didn't mean to. Hold on. God fucking, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Kill your entire family. Um, yeah, yeah, um, either get animal uh, husbandry, because you also have a horse outside your borders, which would be good to have. And, uh, 
or mining. Mining obviously is another starting one because you you have hills around your place, and you can put mines down on hills, which will give hills more production. Mm hmm. So mining is a good base one, and animal husbandry. Animal husbandry would be good for you because the cattle, if you work that, will give you one production on top of the three food. Uh, and if you, yeah. Next one do would probably be animal husbandry though, because the horses, I think, yeah, give two food to production. With your warrior, I'm guessing. You can make it auto move, so if you extend the arrow, the little like arrow for your dude, um, I think, yeah, do you see it? The, the little tiny arrow, like if you click on the warrior and then you see the little tiny arrow all the way to the left. Extend it out and then, well no, you can extend it out and then just make it auto move. So you can just send it to do its own thing. D-pad. Move with your D-pad to go through the options for the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little tiny arrow there. And yeah, you can make it just auto-export. Yep, and then it'll just go on its own so you don't have to control it. So now you can just focus on... Yeah, I know. It's fucking glorious. I don't think it had that like when it first came out. Then again, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's our turn again. We're coming. <laughs> I'm... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, bro. It's fine. <laughs> You're starting off better than my one friend did when he first started playing. He was like, uh, nope, don't have a clue what I'm doing at turn, like, 16. You're good, bro. You're good. Do you have a base of what you're doing? What do you need to do? Oh, never mind. You just ended your turn. Okay. Uh, good. Good. That means we're on a good track. <laughs> Alright, we're doing good. <laughs> I have rivers near me in the tundra. This is good. What do you need to do? <clears throat> oh, you found... Don't worry. That is a city-state, so it can't expand. It can't... Ex good. So then go for animal husbandry next, or writing? Uh, no. It, it gets more complicated it's just because we're in the first shit, so it's like, it's a bunch of micromanaging, but it gets more fun. It isn't just micromanaging. You get to, like, go to war and shit like that. Uh. <clears throat> What's up? Uh, I was talking about them, but you seem to think I was non-existent. Uh. Oh, oh, the purple. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's an actual civilization. That's not good. That's turn seven that they found you. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> hold on. I'll tell you exactly who they are. It It's Persia, and if you zoom all the way out, um, go down. That's, that's how close they are to you. That is scary. <laughs> uh, especially because it's your first game. Um, it's okay, though. So, for now, I don't think they'll attack you, and even if they will, just make a couple warriors after your monument. Like, make three warriors after your monument, and then just make actual shit. All you need is enough to defend your city. Yeah, basically just, because I don't think they're going to be doing anything anyways. They're like the same... They like surprise wars. So they'll just be out of nowhere and be like, oh, yeah, we're not friends anymore. We're, we're your enemy. Hmm. Don't worry, it's because you don't have border shit yet. It's, a, it's allowed. They're enemies yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> they will be. So if you go to the civic tree, I never explained it, um, because it's not done yet, it automatically does it. But after the civic tree, you will want to go for uh, early empire, which basically closes your borders to everyone unless you give it to them. I mean, they didn't run... Okay. They're scouting. 
like what you're doing. <laughs> Bear with it, bro. You're fine. You're fine. We met Hong Kong too. Nice, dude. You're just. Oh, by the way, you have a plus bonus towards killing city states and taking them over. So that yellow little. Yeah, you're Germany. You're the Holy Roman Emperor. You fuck. Um, <laughs> since Amsterdam's like on the coast, I'd be another good city, and they have good production tiles around them. So if you wanted to, I'd go for a lot of warriors early on to take over Amsterdam. Another tile? That's it'll happen over time. I was hoping it'd go for the horses, but that's a good tile too, I guess. Because on Russia, one of my bonuses is I get eight extra tiles upon founding a city. So if you come down here and look, uh, <laughs> I have like all of this territory already. So yeah, that's good. That's that's good. Oh, you got the. Okay, so animal husbandry would be the best bet. Yeah. Uh, and then once you're, you can just found a religion and religion can give you bonuses, but like, it isn't a big thing. It's not, yeah, it's also victory. So like, if you convert everyone's cities, you can get a religious victory, but like, it's not only is it like the hardest fucking thing to do and my alarm's about to go off and I'm about to catch it, caught it one minute early, um, but not only is it like the hardest fucking victory to get other than the diplomatic victory, which we're playing on vanilla, so it's not even an option. Uh, it's also really fucking stupid because like it's boring. There's like no actual combat. Like you you don't actually go to war with someone when you go to war with them like uh, theologically. Well, okay. Um, basically you have theological combat. So like you fight over cities to convert, but it's not actually declaring war or like any type of war. Technically, it's just like a passive war. So it's like really boring. Huh? Yeah. Yep. I'm yellow. I'm St. Petersburg. I'm because I have a bias of tundra, so like snow and shit. I spawn near it. I just happened. I spawn like across the planet from you. Yeah, to research something else. Oh, again, is your monument done? It should be by now. Uh, check your city. What's a what's a building? Right. <laughs> um, just click A on your city and then... Okay. So, next thing you're going to be wanting to build is warriors. Be a very good option. I have to create a couple warriors and a settler because... Yeah, yeah, you can. That's what the Q's for. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, you don't need a scout. As long as you got that one warrior, you should be fine on scouting. Well, I mean, one warrior scouting right now. You only have one out right now scouting. That's what I'm talking about. As long as you have that one on auto explore, you're fine. You'll get more on auto explore later. This ramen's really fucking hot, so I can't even eat that right now. Oh, yeah. Um. So, if you go... If you have a monument, which is another good reason for a monument, you go into your city... And you know all that production shit, like districts and buildings, units, yada, yada, yada. Uh, under it will be projects. So you can, like, train heroes, like, make heroes. And they're really cheap, usually. Like, it's free, and it only takes turns. So I would wait for now to get a hero, because you can use the hero to take out Persia here soon. And the later ages you go, the stronger it will be. So, like, if you wait until, like, the next era, it will probably have, like, 40 strength or 50 strength. I know it's really fucking confusing right now, but you'll get the hang of it. Well, it's because I'm just fascinating my turns. It's it's all good, bro. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. So now it's waiting on me, but I got shit to do. Yeah. <laughs> How fast can I make a warrior? Four turns, apparently. That is good. Um, that is very good. For a new warrior? That's good. So, like, I'd say six or seven and under is good for creating a unit. Oh, yeah, okay. So, um, that's like your first thing. It does that automatically at the start of the game, it makes that. So then you get to choose something. Your best bet, if you want people out of your borders, is early empire. So, you can go ahead and queue stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can queue shit. So if you want to do one thing, and then like, queue it up, you can click A on it, and then add Q, and then yada yada yada. I always go for political philosophy ahead of time, just immediately select that, and it will do everything before it, up to it. You don't have to queue everything for it. You can just hit it, and then it'll go to it. Yeah, so that's, that's governments. So what it'll let you do is have more cards to do more shit. Which you'll find out what card there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, Chief. That that would be sad. Again, early empire, yeah, yeah. So, on its way to political philosophy, it will get early empire, which is what you want for border closing anyway. So, it will already take care of what you wanted anyways on top of uh, getting new governments. So, that's why political philosophy is just like a good thing to keep up. Okay. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. So, Faith, you can end up getting a Pantheon at, like, 26 Faith. And a Pantheon gives you a bunch of bonus. Like, you can get a bonus towards a certain thing. So, like, city growth, border expansion, or, like, uh, certain tiles give you better shit. Like, horses or something. You know, some shit like that. So you could either get a Pantheon, which will give you that, so that would be the one that gives you faith and gold, or you get the one that gives you production, which is really fucking good. And I think because you're Germany, you get like an extra red card, don't you? Yeah, so then you automatically don't even have to make a choice about that one. You can just get both of them. Alright. What? Just press A on them and press A on the card. The card slot and I'll put it there. I mean, it's fine. I'm sure it works out. The area that you start in isn't that bad either, except for the fact that you're like cornered. So you're gonna have to go to war with uh, Persia anyways at some point, depending on where they, uh, where they go. So you know. You can run straight into their city right now. They don't have a uh, border closed. <laughs> but no, you're ahead of the curve. No, no, you need warriors. You can't just take your city with one warrior. I've done it with three, so I've done it with a few. It was really early. Huh? Well, they're good against city states. That's an actual sieve. That's the only thing. They're only good, like, really good against the smaller, weaker ones. The ones that can't, like, 
really do shit, <laughs> I guess, is the best way. Yeah, literally, I've won your way. That's literally it. Um, I got my Pantheon, I guess. What do I have? I need this. As much as I wanted to get better production for its units, I need to get this. I get production for, like, these tiles. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, boy. Fuck yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Cyrus sent me a warning. What's he saying? If there's deception afoot, I prefer it when I am the one providing the intrigue. Fuck you. That's a barbarian. They're they're gonna fight you. They don't have claim to like any Civ, so they could just attack anyone really. Reinforce. They'll just run into you and you won't die. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That is what to do. A warrior can take on like two warriors at a time or like a warrior and a, a spearman as long as he's fortified. You can see how this is gonna get uh, a little complicated later. <laughs> Mostly that's good. That's how it works. And you heal, I'm pretty sure, every uh, every turn afterwards. Like, after they run into you, so I think it's fine. I need to get a Settler out, because my population's getting pretty high. I'm at 5 pop right now. You and Purge that don't even have as much as me combined. <laughs> I have a lot of food tiles around me. Good. I would just... Well, don't do anything yet. Put them at, like, outside your border. Just scout just a little bit ahead. Yeah, just scout a little bit ahead so you know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, did you? First blood. That's our first blood, bro. How do you feel? Well, hold on, let me look. You could, but I'd heal first. And, well, the thing is, is you would have to, like, heal after hitting it once for, like, three or four turns and then hit it again. Because they don't attack you, usually, unless there's another unit there. So they'll just take it. And barbarians don't heal. So you could just whittle it down and then kill them, but, it, like, it's a waste of time. Because Persia's right there. You can just let the barbarians take out Persia or just worry about Persia. Well, that's because you're right fucking next to everybody bringing gamut. The closer the enemy, the better for them. They're just like, ooga booga, close. And then that's it. They're happy. Mm -hmm. Archery's pretty good. Harvesting stone, what? Hmm? Ah, yes. Masonry's alright. Uh, well, you don't get, like, power until the DLC is. Yeah, so there is no power in the vanilla game. It's just production and shit. A water mill will give you pr one production, one food. Um, but the chariot gets 28 combat strength when the warrior only has 20 and the spearman has 25. So it's like a really good unit. So if you do want a good unit, I would I would go for the chariot. Right, get that stone. Just mute myself so I could eat. What? <clears throat> uh oh, well 
when that one's close, you do have to worry about that one because you're closest. Uh, now go up to it and hit it and then just heal. And then just wait until you're at full health again to hit it again. The easiest way to do combat against barbarians. What do you mean? Hold on, let me look. Oh, I think it's because they're on flatlands. They have no defense at all. Like, they have no defense. The warrior is really good against uh, barbarians and barbarian spearmen. Oh, and you have the card. Yeah, you have the card, so you're fine. Yeah, just go for it, bro. <laughs> What? Alright. Gonna make this warrior and then the settler afterwards. I want this fucking settler, dude. I need more cities because this city doesn't have a lot of production. I'm gonna have to boost it. Hmm. 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 I just look like Cthulhu with a shitload of ramen noodles sticking out of my mouth. That was good as fuck. How do you stand on ramen noodles? How do you feel about them? You eatable? Oh, eatable. I like the... The only one I really like is the beef flavor. Who, the barbarians? Oh, you mean like if you click on them? Oh, well, the thing is, is, um, fucking, hey, you can sabotage your friends. I, I, if I had enough money, I could pay them to attack you for some reason. We're on team. What? What? Either way, whatever. Um, you could pay them to not attack you or and like the closer they get to filling up that bar for their thing, uh, the more close they get to actually becoming a city state. And that right now is not what you really want because you're already surrounded, dude. <laughs> That's like the last thing you want. Heal, heal that unit. Yeah. You're very vulnerable right now. They could probably just attack you and kill you. Let's see what it does. Usually they don't attack you, but you never know. Hmm. Ramen noodles is so fucking good, dude. <laughs> Just heal the unit. If you move and try to heal, you can't heal, so you have to sit there. The scouts aren't shit. Scouts are like actual garbage. They're as the name implies, because you're across the river. Uh, there's river damage, like if they're on a hill, they get less defense. Like uh, if you're in between mountains, I think it's also defense. So like they. There's a lot of factors in this game, my dude. I would just sit there a turn. Just wait. Or just heal it. Since you're just gonna be sitting there. It's not like you can just move it later. I mean, you can just do that. Hmm. As far as we know, Purge only has one unit. Persia. They're probably trying to... Yeah, okay. They're probably just looking to take out the Barbarian encampment, and if they do, I mean... It's good and bad, because they could either get the money or XP. Uh... But it's also good, because it'll take care of that. And you won't have to worry about them. Although you're already... Yeah. Hmm. If he attacks it, and does, he can't attack you without declaring war. He has to declare war first. You literally cannot get attacked without being declared war on first. So you will know when they fucking, when they attack you. It's not just like, it, it's not just like free reign where like, they can just be like, alright, well, fuck you. I'm going to attack you because why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would be careful with him, though, because he likes surprise wars, so sometimes he'll, like... Obviously, there's a big notification that comes up anyways if he declared war on you, 
but uh, it'll still be like his turn whenever he does declare one you if he does. This ramen juice is pretty fucking tasty, bro. If I ever... Dude, when I go to college, ramen noodles is gonna be the thing. It's gonna be the thing. How much damage can you do to him? The barbarians. Can you kill them? How much damage will it do? I'll tell you how like low they'll be. Press A on your character, then press A on them to attack them, but don't attack them. Ah. Well, fuck. This is very sad hours. Persia is a bitch, though. I, I Persia's like one of my least favorite civs anyways, so I really won't be sad to see him go. I can't even get up there, because we're on islands, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can. I, I didn't see that, and then I seen what you was talking about, and I was like, oh my god, yeah. Move your warrior there. Move your other warrior there. Unless he can move past your units and go to that flat land right... Oh, right past. Which I don't think he can do, but I don't know. <laughs> if he actually can't move, I'll be very happy. I'll be extremely happy. <laughs> My friend's worried I'll burn down the Skittle factory, and I'm just like, yes. <laughs> I fucking hate Skittles, dude. I don't know what it is. I just like, it's it's like they're inferior M&Ms. Like, I could just eat M&Ms. Like, what's the point? Like, yeah, they're fucking more fruity than chocolate, but like... <sighs> hmm. That's good. What'd you say? If you didn't move that turn, then yeah, I'm pretty sure. Two science and one production on two all, all marsh tiles? <gasps> yes. That's good. That's really good. It only takes 20 turns. <sighs> Ah, uh, but it's production. It's production. Production's good. I need to make more warriors. Why do I have a builder? When the fuck did I get a builder? Okay. I'll just go ahead and settle on the coast, I guess. There we go. Sorry, I'm doing shit. <laughs> there we go. Also, you can get promotions for your units, and if they get a promotion, it heals them, as well as giving them, like, a bonus in battle. So promotions are really god tier. And you can save them, so you can just wait to give your unit a promotion until they need it. Yep. Hmm. Who, hey, Austin? I thought he wasn't. What happened to that? Oh. He wondering why the fuck you're playing so? <laughs> he, yeah, he genuinely doesn't really like the game. I don't have to settle on that tile, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. That'd probably be because I'm moving units too. Well, that's bad. I'm not talking about whatever you're doing. It's just because a barbarian came in, came like out of nowhere where I was going. Huh? Wait, really? <laughs> oh my god, and that's a settler too. Oh, please settle that city. Oh, that is prime real estate to take, too. Move your other warrior that you have down at the capital over to that settler. Like, in between those two mountains. Because if you can trap 
well, you can't trap him because it's his border, but, like, if you just surround that city, because he's going to settle a city there, obviously. That's why the settler is there. Hmm. Hmm. I mean ramen, bro. Take all your time. Shit slaps. I'm actually going to mute myself so I don't fucking... Hmm. Not on the party, but on the recording. Gotta have decency, you know what I'm saying? If he settles, I see that is goddamn prime real estate. That is so much of prime real estate to take. And you have one, two, three, four warriors. It, if he settles there, that's a free city basically for you. Because he has like no military right now. All he has is that slinger and the warrior. And you have four warriors, which beats out a two. A, a warrior beats out a slinger like any day. Let alone fucking four. He settled? Hold on. Mm, mm. Give Big Papa Spike a second to look. Oh boy. Uh, if you wage war on him while you're in, his borders will push you out. So settle, put your like units where you want them before you wage war on them. Otherwise, they'll push them off the borders randomly. Yeah, so just give it a second. Slingers are good because they can hit you without taking any damage, but if you hit them, they're like really weak. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm like when I, I'm literally on a giant island that's just snow. Yeah. And it is island plates. I kind of signed up for this. You and Persia are on like your own islands. Alright. I'm gonna need sailing because I'm gonna end up going places. Now, where exactly? Uh, n not quite sure, but going places. That's the plan, anyways. Oh, I don't have irrigation yet, so I can't... Oh, I didn't even realize these farms are going to be sugar tiles. That's really good. That's really good, actually. What'd you say? Don't worry about warmonger, warmonger penalties. You're, he's the only person you know, and you're like the only person he knows, so there's like no reason to be worried about it. What? Hold on. So, member of your team is a friend or ally of a member. Oh, maybe you can't declare a surprise war on him. But no, that one at... No, don't... You're a declared friend? I guess you're friends. Well then, give it a second. Uh... Click on your unit in that barbarian cam and hit the hit the hammer, and just uh, get rid of it. The unit in the barbarian cam. Yeah, you definitely have a fucking unit in that barbarian cam. It is gray. That is a gray unit in the barbarian cam. God damn, dude! <laughs> what the fuck are you smoking? Uh, hit the hammer. Uh, and then get rid of it. It's an option with the D-pad buttons. Hmm. You have to wait till next turn, then you already use your move set. Hmm. Hmm. 
Those are the things I can help you. I would personally get plus 25% production towards the military units. It's like somewhere in the middle. It's a goddess of the, well, god of the forge, I think, or something. Yeah, because then you can just pump out units like they're fucking nothing, which is really good for you. What? Hmm. Not yet. Pantheon and religion are separate. Yeah. You gonna get a religion. You have to build a holy site though. Denounce him. Uh, click on his uh, city, I think, and it'll take you to him. And then you denounce him. And you have to wait five turns, then you can declare war. That might be the reason. Because he might have a thing where you can't declare surprise wars on him. I don't know Cyrus and shit, really. So I can't tell you exactly. Dude, I love the amount of snow and shit I have here. This is beautiful. A lot of units, but no one to war on, so I guess I'm just in here. Huh? Denounce. Guess I'll denounce his ass. There, I denounce him. So in five turns, I'll wage war on him. Because if I wage war on him, we both wage war on him, I think. I don't do allies. Says the says the ally of me. Uh, yeah, hit the hammer and then get rid of it. Get yeah, get rid of it. Mm hmm. Yeah, bro. Getting them out of homes. Can't wait till like later in the game when we actually have a lot more shit. Hmm. You haven't even gotten your second city yet. You're about to. Hmm. And it's by force. So lovely. So proud of you. Dude, I don't fuck it. Maybe it popped up and he was like, yeah, sure, Poppy Julo. I don't know. I didn't announce him though. Hold on. Oh. In 28 turns? God damn. That is too long. Let's go over to Amsterdam and take over Amsterdam. Yeah, do that. No, go to Amsterdam. Because you have a bonus towards city states anyways, dude. You have like a seven damage bonus to city states. Alright. No. That's the one thing. Yeah, that's like the one thing that's stupid. Oh, boy. I was not moving because I was doing shit. That's great. Warrior. Um, 
south, I guess. I have nothing. <laughs> There we go, I have my second city up. Yay! We're going, boys. We're going where no man should. <laughs> Alright, how, how is your, um, how's your turn going? You moving them? Yes, you are. Good shit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, good. You moving them names, Sam? Hmm. Worship, what? What? Oh, okay. God damn, I gotta move all these fucking units. There we go, and no more barbarians. Like that, they are dispersed. There we go. That was old. That's real old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was literally like 20 turns ago. <laughs> Great. Perhaps. Perhaps. If I get one more goddamn notification. It's not even on Xbox, it's on my fucking phone, dude. About to lose my shit. Hmm. Mm. Another great thing about masonry. If you get a uh, masonry, you get the battery amp. So if they make walls, they're fucked anyways. Hmm. That was probably the slowest I've ever eaten a bowl of ra fucking ramen, dude. It's literally been like 30 minutes. I can usually slam it down like less than five. My metabolism is the only thing that saves me. I eat like two packets of ramen, fucking entire large fucking pizza, like, to myself. Just my metabolism, dude. Uh, I think we are connected, actually, barely. It might be. Because if you look, like, bottom right, there's a little land bridge that's, like, kind of looking like it might connect. Looking pretty fresh. Wait, what? I mean, you should have waited till you was actually at their borders. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, you should wait. Because if you're, like, right at their borders, then you can move one turn and, like, wipe out the city in, like, maybe two or three turns. Instead of, like, them trying to stop you before you actually get there. Uh. 
I can hear him. What what the fuck is he saying? Hold well, on. I would wait until you have at least like four warriors around the city. MCM is a lot fucking harder to take. That's disgusting. Can we just shoot all like... What do you mean? Why? Are they out of movement? Is it just the skull? Is it just showing the skull? Then yeah, they're out of movement. Each troop has its own movement, my guy. You only move so many tiles for one character, and usually it's only one. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, I might die. Perhaps. Alright, I've mapped out like my entire little continent down here. Uh, cities next to a river can now have water mills because, uh... Oh, no, we're about 52 minutes. Oh. What is he saying? Uh, standard. Just standard. Gotta move around and shit. Taking fucking forever. I think I'm a barbarian that's wanting to eat your ass. He's got no health though, so if he runs into you, he's just fucked. <laughs> just like mega dead. Amsterdam seems to only have like two units. And one's about to die because of a slinger, so he's got like one unit. What? No, there's a slinger up there. It's in the fog of war. It's like right above it. It, it showed for a second because it attacked. Which tells you there's a barbarian came up there that you should probably worry about when you, uh, yep, there it is. Yep. Amsterdam has a lot of farms too, and with farms, if you invade an area, if you destroy a farm, it'll give you health. Scorch Earth policy, baby. <laughs> That's what we're all about. Yep. That word is going to be a little annoying, so if you... Remember, rivers, like, stop you from doing the most amount of damage you can, so I'd move that unit across the river first before you actually attack it. Hmm. 
Why no? You're gonna have to wage war on him and then move him. Man, you have like no space. There has to be someone else on that island continent too, because it's like that that area is really big. By the way, I found out it does not connect. <laughs> it's really close. It's so fucking close, but it doesn't connect. It's okay, as long as you bring honor to the communist regime, we should be fine. Except you're probably gonna be going fascismo. Uh, influence? <laughs> the whole doing the Americans wrong style? What? Are you in position? Hey, right. good on ya. Good shit. Unless you get pushed back, but the the chances of you getting pushed back when the, them having one warrior is pretty low, especially as you have another warrior close by too. Two actually, technically. All right, move your units into their their borders. The damage they did to themselves. The amount of damage they're gonna do to the actual city state itself is gonna be a little disgusting, not gonna lie. <laughs> In like a really good way. Because you do plus seven damage. Oh, hold on, let me just check. Because I'm pretty sure I can like. I can at least look up what you can do. Hold on. Major civilizations. Gotta go down to G. Germany. The city or the units? It's the city that you have a bonus to. Yeah, I, yeah. Well then. Of what? Yeah. The fact that you're taking Amsterdam is beautiful, honestly. I'm so I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. <laughs> God damn, I'm so happy. I'm so happy your first game you're fucking taking over your shit, dude. God damn. Uh my one friend that like his first game we played for like twelve hours straight on our first session. And then fucking he um wait, why is he wait, why the fuck? And then um he played as Japan, which he didn't really have any good bonuses for, especially at the location that he was at. You have really good bonuses against city-states, and you're near two. Plus, you have production bonuses, which is good anywhere. He picked a really good starting sieve. And it wasn't even intentional. <laughs> yeah, Germany, bro. Yeah, angry voice. Come on now. Uh, let's see. We have Amstam. That's it, boys. You have your second city. We, <laughs> hell yeah, boys. That's the most important thing, obviously. You have one, two, three, four, five, six warriors. All right, now go back and go to Persia. <laughs> and then heal all your units right outside their border and then just wait. 
Yep. Because their cities have not gone up in like any defense except for their capital. I guarantee that's only because they have a unit there. Eh, by then you at least you'll be ready to declare war once you heal. So, no biggie. The only person I can literally declare war on is Bandar Brune, and they're like really far away right now. I'm gonna wait to get closer. They're not even connected to the water, so I couldn't even like take a navy over there. I have to like fucking walk over there. So how you feeling about your first victory, bro? Oh yeah, you can just raise cities. Well, some of it's due to the fact that like um, depending on how many luxuries you have or some shit, you can't take any more cities because it'd be too much to take care of. Because each city has its own needs. So it gets <laughs> it gets there, dude. <laughs> you're on the you're on the path to salvation, Wyatt. Go forth. Unite the German people under one banner. Unite the Germanic people under one banner. War. Just war against all of his enemies. Except for me, obviously, because we're on a team, but, you know. Oh my god, Fallout reference. Great A points. That was a Fallout reference right there. I become a navy too power i swear to god journey has conquered the original amsterdam or wait their their fucking thing for their fucking so okay hold on in amsterdam instead of calling it an amsterdam city they call their cities amsterdammer so it's an amsterdammer city that's beautiful <laughs> that's great that's glorious it's the best thing obviously best thing Uh, you can ask for a builder, but you don't need to because you don't have anyone that is going to be fucking with it. You're going towards Prusia, so yeah, yeah, you can get promotion. It'll heal it instantly. Melee. Yeah, because you'll probably be dealing with mostly uh, warriors when you go over to Prusia. Usually what the AI prefers. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it gets it gets kind of ridiculous late game. Even when I know what I'm doing, it takes like a minute or two for one turn. Like, pretty ridiculous. Pretty redonk, bro. It's pretty redonk. Yes. I'm trying to find this barbarian camera down here. I have a lot of snow below my tundra. Yes. Huh? Yep. Oh yeah. Now nah, AIs actually take like no time at all. Oh, what'd you say? Uh, look now, bitch. <laughs> Just gonna add a third one there. <laughs> I was, it was on its way for like a ridiculous amount of time, actually. It was like making its way in that direction forever. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking canvas on some maze. I don't care about corn. I'm not America. I'm not America. Oh, I wish you had this game. Like, actually, you having this game, why? Goddamn. Game's so fucking fun later. <laughs> oh, 
one went. You can do that now if you want. It's probably about the right time. <laughs> it is time, brother. <laughs> Unveil it. <laughs> ah, yes, the the hero. <laughs> What hero do you have? Because I haven't discovered any, so I'm guessing you haven't. Is that what it is? Is it's like... Dude, I don't have to worry about war, bro. I'm so fucking... I'm so peaceful here. Like, it's... I can just literally focus on everything else but war. Usually, I'm the biggest war bitch alive, but... Fuck it, bro. <laughs> fuck it. Who needs it? Honestly, I don't. I know I don't. Totally. I will end up settling the... What? Alright. Make sure you heal the ones that need healing. Alright, so he's got a Slinger and a Warrior now. One's damage probably will be healed. Alright. Oh, he has a Spearman. Mmm, fancy. Yeah. The nine men. <laughs> German, yeah, <I'm> German. <laughs> Speak German for oh yeah, did I ever turn my audio one for the party? No, I didn't. Oh my god. I never turned my audio one until now. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Actual batteries. I didn't know you had fake batteries, bro. Shit, I didn't even know fake batteries was a thing. Oh, yeah. Do you have any red tents uh, near one of your cities at all? It's like next to the names. It will be pretty obvious. It's just like a red tent. It's like a circus town looking thing. Okay, you're fine for now then. <laughs> uh, it's It can be a byproduct of war weariness or something. It's just happiness. So like luxuries will give you more happiness. So like, yeah. So if you get like that sugar in your city or tobacco. Dude, if you get sugar and tobacco in your city, you'll be fine. For like ages. Yeah, tobacco, you'll be fine, bro. It's the ultimate stress reliever, obviously. Yeah, dude. Oh, by the way, Purge is building a wonder right now, which is good for you, because one, you're going to be taking that city anyway, so if they build it, that's fine. And and two, uh, they're not building anything else because they're building that wonder. So that means they have, like, no units being built. What? Uh, obviously, yeah. Can get behind that. Gonna get some bronze working. Yeah, apparently you're still 11. Alright, you need to be in your turn faster, my guy. No. <laughs> Only turned 51, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. 
That's the rally call. Dun, 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 dun. Have you not entered your turn yet? No, you have. Why the fuck's the game taking so long to load? Oh. It said you ended your turn. Yeah, see? It's his turn. Ah, uh, yes. Xbox. Love it. Alright, I've discovered. I have officially discovered, like, every tile on my entire continent. Except for, like, I think the very, very top right. Hell yeah. Should be. Yeah, because you make peas after only 10 turns, so. Literally just sit there for 10 turns and be like, alright, peace. Dude. Dude, in, in, in Gathering Storm, like the fucking, the DLC, um... There's like diplomatic shit where you call it diplomatic meetings like World Congress and shit and like all that. Um, and one time when I was being really warlike, like five people grouped up with me. They was like, all right, we need to put an end to this man. He's taking over too much. They was all like, all right, we need to group together, boys. They all went to war with me and I not only kept my city, but I kept pushing through other cities that I've captured. So I kept pushing even when five people were attacking me and I was like, no. I don't think I will. I think I'll deny you every access to this. This is how it be, bro. When the fuck did you declare friendship with that man? It's so weird. Wait, is Persia last place on science as well, by the way? Hold on. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, now that's diplomacy. <laughs> that's the diplomacy I like. Hey man, I see you've expanded towards my borders. I like to expand my borders with your borders. This is the only option. <laughs> the Imperium of Man. You might want to move the extra warrior you have as well all the way down there. There's no point in having them up there. There's like no one to attack. I mean... Oh yeah. Your cities are going to be so fucking close. <laughs> Your cities are going to be like so... That's a city state. It's... Candy. Over in the middle of the ocean. You shouldn't have to worry about them. I don't think they're actually going to be able to do anything. Even if they wanted to. I'm trying to build a wonder right now, dude. So I can get the fucking benefits. But it's taken... It's already taken, like... 12 turns. And it's going to take 5 more. I'm just waiting. Just want the benefits game, please. Save my soul. You about to wage war on them? Is about to happen. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, and you got a chariot? You got a fucking chariot, boys? Let's go. Make him go over to the capital. Make him go over to the, the bottom city. Everyone has a hidden agenda. It's their thing. Well then. <laughs> of course, bro. Persia just comes out of nowhere like the Inquisition. Yeah. It's better to betray you now 
rather than you betray me later. You're gonna have three coastal cities. That's really no four coastal cities because of Amsterdam. That's really good. Coastal cities can be got here. Yes, the holy site where the deed was done. Yeah, bro. You gonna make a religion? That's what to make to a religion, you fool. Alright. <laughs> I'm just like, you fool. You madman. Oh. Hello, scout. Uh, I guess we've met Gilgamesh. <laughs> He just has a little scout dog thing next to your borders. He just came across the ocean, apparently. Hello, Samaria. Gilgamesh. Now, now of all times. All right, me and Gilgamesh is friends. <laughs> first turn, first turn of meeting him, we're friends. That's the great thing about Google Mesh. He's always happy to be friends, even when he doesn't like you. It's cancer. Yeah, even when he doesn't like you. If you're like, bro, let's be friends. He'll be like, oh, dude, let's hug it out. He's great, truly. Well, no, if you're like, if you've had a war with him, I don't think he'll accept peace at all. He's actually one of the best early war civs, dude, because he has, like, the best early war unit in the game. What the fuck barbarian is that? That's a special unit for a barbarian game. Interesting. <clears throat> You're a good friend and ally. Gilgamesh will remember this. Okay, Gilgamesh. <laughs> okay, Gilgamesh. Take your senile pills now. <laughs> Keep that one chariot at Amsterdam there, dude, because that warrior is about to die. <laughs> that warrior doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> He's, uh... What building? The fuck are you smoking? Oh. Yeah, there's just a lot going on there, bro. Alright, next turn I will be done with the wonder and then I'll have a shitload of production because it gives me a shitload of production and science. Yes, puppy. Oh boy. That holy site. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the other choice. I make faith off of Tundra Tiles. I don't need holy sites. Uh, I don't need holy sites. I'm Russia. I love snow. <laughs> My people have faith in snow. That's all we need. Fine. You have higher power on your walls than he does anyway, so he probably can't even fight him. Then again, that might be because you have chariots in your cities. But who knows? Or you can settle new cities. Which is the best way to do it. Yeah, dude, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's been a Civ mechanic since, like, I think Civ 4 or 5. So. Uh, yes, I shall buy this land of no one's owning. Yeah, oh, dude, that Persian Spearman's fucked. 
Look how low that person- That virgin spearman doesn't even have health. What is that? Oh, fuck it. I just got a shitload of production. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it's all ogre. <laughs> These are closes. Haven't I explained this before? They're up above you somewhere in the snow. Attack it with your chariot. Mm hmm. Which is why I said to attack it with it. Yes. Do that thing, which is that thing. How many turns until you can declare war on them? <clears throat> Alright. Wait? Wait and just tell me when you can declare war on them, and uh, I'll ask Gilgamesh to go to war with them too. So there will be three people going to war with Persia because why not? He can't do anything. He's across an ocean, but you know it's cool. Yeah, and he won't be upset because he went to war with them too. So his friendship won't even like die down or anything. By the way, I have twenty-two science now because of that wonder. <laughs> I just got like 10 science, dude, off of that one day. Oh my god, that's overpowered. <laughs> oh, that's really overpowered. Holy shit. Oh. <clears throat> Two more turns, you said? Yeah, do games and recreation. Oh, yes. You obviously have more culture than me because mine's in two turns. Oh, you do. Uh, what? Do you want to do war? Okay, so hold on. I got you. I'll tell you exactly which one has more of that. Hold on. Um, let's see. Oligarchy. Oligarchy. Oligarchy has more red cards. What, dude? Communism. Did you go down the tree and you seen it? I'm going for that. That's mine. I'm going for communism. Communism is my shit, dude. Fascism gives you like four or five red cards. Communism gives you, I yeah, I think fascist gives you five. Uh, communist gives you three. But the thing about communist is it gives you like also three gold cards, whereas fascist only gives you like one or two gold cards. Yeah, but you get better shit, better cards, so it'd be better to have multiple cards than one card. Now, if you fuck yourself over and all your cities start rebelling and that's the end of the game for you, I'm gonna laugh. Because of unhappiness. They would be unhappy. I don't care how much power you have. At the peak of my power, at the peak of my power, I've been crumbled because of unhappiness alone. Nobody else could defeat me but my own people. <laughs> listen, listen. If you wanted to go with someone that could go on with war forever, Alexander. Alexander doesn't have any war worriness. He doesn't get any unhappiness from it. <clears throat> He's just like, ah, oh, yes, I am Alexandre Asa. And then he goes to war. He's like, fuck you, pussy. Yeah. Alexander's the biggest war bitch in the entire game. I swear to God, he is. Fucking cunt. Oh, I'm making so much science! End your turn when you get the chance, by the way. Oh, okay. You got two chariots there, I see. Technically, I have three, but you have to change that. Oh, Oh, do do Oh, Poppy Chulo. Oh, Poppy Chulo.
I need to turn on my game. Oh yeah, that's a good shit. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. <laughs> I can hear all the units moving shit now. I'm like looking mostly at your area rather than mine. Just because you got the most going on over here. <laughs> it's kind of boring over where I'm at, gotta be honest. Nice. Wait, what the fuck did I build up my capital that like I'm just now building a settler? fuck did I build? What? Don't worry about how you still stand there. It's complicated. Things happen in the heat of battle. Things happen. You have more barbarians. You gotta take care of them barbarians. Them barbarians. Oh, No, they won't. They don't do that much damage to your cities. They do damage to the tiles, but not the cities. Attack it with the warrior you the warrior you have at that city. You have a you literally yeah. <laughs> you literally have a warrior right there. <laughs> No, he can build. And so five warriors are really confusing because their symbol were hammers, but the builder's symbols were hammers. So it was kind of confusing. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that was a lot worse of a topic than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you ever gonna... You ever gonna... <laughs> it's okay, because this turn I'll ask Google, I should go to war. We'll be set for life. We can all we can all be friends. Never mind, I can't ask him to go to war. Alright, I guess go to war with him if you can. Oh, oh then then I'll probably be able to ask him to go to war. Alright, I got my government. Here we go, boys. I'm getting Classical Republic because I don't need to go to war. So I can just do shit. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. Oh that's the stuff. Um. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, don't listen to anything that I'm saying. Perhaps. He'll... No, 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 I heal it. Because if you run right into the barbarian gamut, you probably get fucked. Good shit. I forgot I was messaging people. I probably have messages. Oh no. <laughs> Hers has progressed in the ancient areas of the class square. You have progressed to de oh that unit they have in their city is dangerous. <laughs> it's okay, nothing that three warriors and two chariots can't handle. Get them. Actually, you're gonna have to pull over your chariots because now that city's thirty strength. You have to. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got the war. There you go. Have fun. Uh, try to, can you? Alright. Have fun. Yeah, yeah you will want to pull in the chariots because your warriors aren't going to stand a fucking chance against the, uh... Yeah. 
you need at least one chariot for that 30 power city. The warriors, though, should be able to handle Pasagari Day. Take over both of you again. Uh, yeah. Are, are, well, no, that immortal, that unit that's in his um, in his city is not only an archer, but also a warrior, basically, that can hit you. So he can do melee and shoot you. We've also met the Arabs, apparently. <clears throat> interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I know it looks bad. Arabs, uh, but I assure you that we're peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't hit the fuck. Just wait, wait until all your units can hit it at once. You fuck. Jesus Christ. You're really gonna botch the entire war, aren't you? You fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking mongoloid. Jesus Move the chariot you have an Aachen down too. Move both chariots. The city's 30 power. Well, that's because people are in its way. If you just move the warrior, that one warrior back one fucking move. Yeah, just because units are in the way. Gets a little clustered. What happened? Did you run him into the fucking wall again? Oh. <laughs> the other option. Getting shot. Let me come over there and look. Oh my god, they have that unit in their capital as well. Yeah, it looks like you're not doing too good, buddy. <laughs> oh man. That's tough. That's tough as hell. Where the fuck is the Arabs at, bro? Damn. I'm trying to find them. I want to be cordial and cool with them. <laughs> I need to get a navy get going together so I can go and attack Persia, too. I can at least attack that one city. Maybe not that other one because it's inland, but you know. Oh, we moved the unit outside of the city. Oh, that's good. That city's only 20 strength now. If you can move that one chariot to attack the city and use the warrior as well, or you can attack the unit because it's outside the city. All up to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was a little too much for me. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> Chariots don't. They're supposed to, so I don't know, man. All I know is that they are supposed to. They're really supposed to, actually. <laughs> I 
they got their special unit. It's it's literally called a special unit. That's what it is. Yeah, I I the mortals literally like my least favorite fucking unit to fight against because it's so fucking annoying. Especially when you're trying to get close and then kill them, you can't. At least you're doing a shitload of damage to them. If you can get rid of that one immortal, you should be fine. I mean, if you can get rid of the one immortal, you should be fine, though. Well, I mean, I know there's another immortal, but... I'd actually move that one warrior out of the way of the capital. The one all the way at the bottom city. Because he's just gonna die if he stands there. He isn't gonna do anything. Alright. As John Tron once said, I'm a brave boy. Not brave enough for this. <laughs> uh, he's gonna move that unit inside the city, I think. What? Not enough brave enough for this. Not enough brave enough. But yeah, see, he moved it in. Well, now you can attack the city with, like, all your units. Make sure to heal some, though. Don't just kill them. Because you just run them into the fucking wall, you're gonna kill them, you idiot. Fucking mongoloid. <laughs> because you damage it, it isn't at full strength, so the city's only at 25 strength right now. Attack with that warrior that's at full health. Then attack with the chariot. And then next turn, attack with the next warrior and heal that chariot and that warrior. Take turns for this shit. Attack with the warrior too. Don't pussy out. <laughs> what? Oh, you attack with the wrong warrior. I mean, that works though. That works. I was telling you to attack with the warrior over here on the horse tile. The city! <laughs> what else, you fuck? Well, no, it's because it's flatland. You can move 2,000 flatland. See, now it's like basically fucked. Now if you just pull in the chariots and the warriors next turn, you're good. You're gonna have to sacrifice that warrior. If they don't, if he doesn't kill him with the archery, then just run him into the wall and then run the chariot in there. We have numbers. <laughs> Russia, Russia personified. Nine people, one gun. <laughs> we got numbers, boys. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Go for it, Chief. Yes. Alright, warrior now. Run him in there. Okay, next turn, boys. Move the chariot there. I know he's low, but you gotta do it. <laughs> for the glory of our Stotska. This is a day you will forever remember. You almost took out uh, Germany. Yep, that's the one. That's the name of your... You have two warriors up at Amsterdam. What are you... <laughs> what are you doing with this? Yeah. <laughs> You're making... You put them in a queue. You asked me earlier if you could queue up warriors. <laughs> you obviously did. <laughs> you made like three warriors at Amsterdam, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Fuck. At least you have more warriors now, like that. Yeah, that's that's the that's the second army. Just attack it with everything you have. Did did you attack it yet?
please, please let you have the city. If you don't get the city after this, you might have to. But what if it shoots it? Then there's no healing. You have to attack when there's a shooter, my dude. You can't sit there and heal, otherwise they're just going to shoot you every time you try to heal. Oh my god, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Fucking take it. It's no health. It's literally no health. The city has no fucking health. Do it! Oh my god, Jesus, fuck. <laughs> just heal the chariot now. Just heal it. You're inside the city. You're safe. My god. <laughs> Holy shit. You did it, boy. You did it. Now super peace. Super peace when you get the chance. And then you'll have to build up science to get better units. You'll get better units. <laughs> no, no, you can wage war on them later. Just, you have to build up first. Things take time. <laughs> Gotta play the long game. <laughs> oh. God damn it, dude. So great. You have three cities now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. What? It, it, we're good? That's it? Turn 69? Alright, I guess I, I can take it. Turn 69.